All I want is Jesus more and more and more and more and more. Well, welcome, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Wake Up, Get Up, and Move in Your Purpose. I am just so excited this morning, first of all, to be connected with you in one accord, that, that this isn't just about me and, and, and trying to uh, grow anything other than the, 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 the family other than the unification of like-minded believers to be on one accord. Remember, we wake up in our mind. Oh, thank you, Lord. My first thought this morning, my, my, my whole essence of, of, of waking up this morning was filled with, thank you, Lord. Thank you for everything you've done. Thank you for another day that I can say thank you. And then I must get up. I must move. I got to get up in my thinking. Remember, faith without works is dead. I got to get up in my thinking. And now process my thinking to think like what? Christ, because Christ lives into me. I am now a new creation in Christ. No longer do I live by my past. No longer am I worried about my tomorrows. I'm worried about my right now position with God that I can be found holy and acceptable in God's sight. And that is your, your reasonable service as well as mine. Uh, he's no respecter person. I, I'm called. You're called. I, I'm, I'm anointed. You're anointed. I'm blessed. You're blessed. But what is your mindset? going to be. This is just not a, a show or a broadcast that we get together just to talk, but we want to motivate each other as well as your comments. Uh, uh, Denise, you fill me up with more of you, Jesus. Uh, yes, I need more of Jesus. I heard another comment. I'm sick of me. Believe me, I get sick of me. It is an everyday challenge that we have to be so, so focused on God's word, so focused on what he would have us to do. How our mindset should always be. Think on these things, the Bible says. Uh, 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 let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ. Uh, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. These scriptures tell us that it's not what we do in, in, on, in the body or on the outside. Because this flesh is dead. It's a, it's a walking uh, uh, process of going back to which it came. When it left the, the, the womb, we are now in a process of entropy. From once you leave your original source, you are now in a state of decay. And you know it as well as you. You're not as young as you used to be. And you're not as, 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 as vibrant as you used to be. But glory be to God. It's not what's on the, uh, in the physical, but what's on the inside. And in my mind, remember Proverbs 23, our base scripture for wake up, get up, and move in your purpose is, as a man thinketh in his heart. So is he. My mind must be fixed on my attitudes because my attitudes, my characteristics, my, my, my habits, and all of these things are contingent to what my mind is going to be in. Am I going to be fixed on such a, such a positive mindset? And believe me, just as well as you had negativity this morning, so did I. But guess what? I made a decision that I am blessed, that I am healed. That I am transformed and I am, watch this, a new creation in Christ. No longer do I live by the things of the past because when you are a new creation in Christ, I mean, my life is over. I now walk in Christ because when I walk in Christ, he also walks in me. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Good morning, Reggie. That's two broadcasts in a row. Good morning, my brother. I love you. Blessed, healed, man of God. But as I, you know, so in the process, as a man thinketh in his heart, so am I. So if I'm conformed to the world, what will I be like? I'll make worldly decisions. I'll make worldly choices. I'll do worldly things. And I'll be just like the world. But if I be not conformed to this world and I am transformed, transformed, meaning I got to turn some stuff around. I can no longer be in the same position. I have to transform some things and turn some things around. And when I turn some things around, I can't be what I used to be because I'm what? I'm new. I'm a new creation in Christ Jesus. Now watch this. When I'm in Christ Jesus, old things are what? Passed away. 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. We'll use certain scriptures on every broadcast to bring us into agreement. And then we'll go through what, what the word is giving us today that what we should process as the truth, the word is God is truth. Oh, yes, it hurts. How many out there know? How many out there can confess? How many out there will really be truthful with you today and say, the truth hurts, but the truth will set you free. There's never a truth that kept me in bondage. There's never a truth that I could not be free from. Now watch this. I had to make a process. 
to be free in my mind. No longer being free in the world, being free in my mind. Not being free from prison, being free in my mind. Not being free from this, that, this, and whatever situation I'm in. Because I've shared with you many times. The, the, the stuff on the outside is only the, 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 pro, the, the product of what's on the inside. If God made you an entrepreneur and you become a good business person, that is not God blessing you. You have just now used your holy and good service to God to become a blessing. And yes, it's because you're focusing your thinking and you're, and you're letting your mind be on, on God and letting your, your choices and your decisions be only be done by the source of everything, who God. So now it's God who worketh in me that now the process works out of me. So what you see on the outside of Pastor E is only the productivity of what God is doing in me. I'm working this thing on the outside. I'm putting my hand to the plow. I'm, I'm doing the things that are necessary to me by walking by faith and not by sight. Remember, faith without works is dead. If I stay dead, I'll be dead. But I must work the process of he that worketh in me. Here's the good thing about it. He works in you just like he works in me. He's no respecter of person. No, there's not a stamp on my head that says that I have this great revelation that no one else can get. Now, what revelation comes to me is for me. But what revelation comes for you is for you. And you have to be willing, oh, Jesus, to accept your position in God and know that what God has for me is only for me. Not for my kids, not for my spouse, not for anybody else. Because my divine relationship now, watch this, helps me build greater relationships because I'm the good person. I'm the good friend. I'm the good spouse. I'm the good parent. I'm the good this, this, and this. God's not the good thing. God is already good. It was the first thing you learned about God, God being good. God worketh in me so I can be good. So I can be the example. Good morning, Ronald. So I can be the example of my walk that you see it and say, you know what? I see God in that. That's not him no more. I know him. Oh, yes, I know him. And that does not resemble him one bit. There may be friends of mine that watch these videos and says, I know the face. That's, he's familiar, but that's not the person I knew. Because now the productivity of my mind, my thinking, I'm not conformed to the world. Romans 12 and 2. But please read the whole chapter of 12. You see such a great revelation of what God has called for you. We've all been given uh, uh, the same measure of faith. But we all have different functions. Don't get discouraged because you only clean the church up. <laughs> Don't get discouraged because you preach in the church or you're in the church all the time. Don't get discouraged because whatever God has for you is for you. But watch this. That's not God working in you. God didn't make you do it and neither did the devil. It was all up to you to the decisions and the choices you make where? In your mind first. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. I thought the process and I did it. It was no, 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 no other process. It didn't come from the outside and make me do it. My mind, even though I followed the leader, even though I listened to somebody else, even though it wasn't my plan, but I still had to let my mind release it to follow, to go, and to do what somebody else wanted me to do. But it was still up to me. I, I was sharing with someone the other day. We were talking about uh, stuff that has happened to us. Uh, I'm 51% responsible for all the bad stuff. that, And it's some bad stuff that has happened to me too, just like everybody else. We've all had bad stuff. But guess what? I am still 51% responsible for what happened because I had the choice to make. I had a decision to make that could have, that definitely would have changed the result. If I just would have said no instead of yes. If I just would have sat instead of going. If I would have did this or instead of that. And that goes for you as well. How many of you out there today with me on a truthful Real Talk Friday can actually just be honest in your own inventory with yourself? Not, not me calling you out. Not me stepping on toes. Your own personal inventory with yourself. And say, you know what? If I just wouldn't have went, they would have never been able to do that to me. If I would have never entered that environment, I could have never been abused. I could have never been this. Now, now, hold up. I know somebody said right then, what is if you're a child? I'm, not ta I'm talking about us adults. When we got into the own choice realm of not following our parents' instructions. Doing our own thing. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not talking about being abused and taken advantage of. I'm talking about those of us that can be honest today and say, it was my fault <laughs> that I went to prison. It wasn't the police's fault. 
It wasn't the guy I sold to. It wasn't the person that told on me either because he was trying to do what was best for him. You see what I'm saying? I was still 51% wrong because I could have said, uh-uh, uh-uh, no, no, no. I am going to go by the power that worketh in me instead of the power that works on the outside. See, the world will always draw you. The, all way, the world will always tempt you. Be the biggest believer, the biggest studier, and believe me, you're still getting tempted. Go to church every day. Stay in the church. And believe me, you are still getting tempted. But if you resist, oh, hallelujah. If you resist, what, what, what will happen? It will flee. God cannot take it out your life. God is not here to remove it out your life. He has already done it. But guess what? When you believe, you can now Receive because you now re achieve it by your own works of the power that worketh in you. Are you ready? Hallelujah. Are you ready to be blessed? No, no, no. I'm not talking about the old blessings. I'm not talking about the yesterday blessings. I'm not talking about this. Now watch this. The woulda, coulda, shoulda blessings. Because God is not a God of tricks. He's not a God of, of, of maybes. He's not a God of, of luck. God is a God of truth. And truth that will surpass all understanding. A truth that no one can, 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 can go against. A truth that when you follow the truth, and where are you going to follow the truth? Stop looking on the outside. you got to follow him on the inside. It must be the word that worketh in you that can work out of you. Because the word can make you a better person. The word can make you a better employee. The word can make you a better friend. The word can make you a better whatever it is you're trying to be. Because when God is the source, ooh, hallelujah, of your everything, I am not conformed because I don't go to the world. I don't have to worry about that opposition anymore because I already checked that off in my personal inventory that that's not good for me. You guys remember a couple of weeks ago, I said, you know, in the number one step of doing better, you all you have to do is ask the question, is that in my best interest? Oh, no, 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 no. Not is that going to help somebody else's interest? Not is that going to make somebody like me? Not is that going to make me accept it? But is that, whatever it is you have to choose today, is that in my best interest? See, when you think on the things of God, then you know what's your best interest to be blessed in the city, blessed in the field, blessed coming, blessed going, blessed, 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 blessed. But you must understand that you're part of the blessed crew too, just as well as I am. We always look at people that, are, that, that we think. Now watch this. We see on the outside and we, we confirm that being good because it's shiny, it's noisy, and it's this and that. That is not the confirmation that God is working in and through that situation. When you see God working, it's on the inner man. Because the inner man now, watch this, controls the outer man. When you think godly, what will you be? Godly. If you think you crazy, what will you be? Crazy. Ride down the streets in any state, any city. And there are people on the corner that have really went literally crazy. They didn't start out that way. And this isn't this isn't a, 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 a throwing rocks. I'm stepping on some toes. But many of those people that you see out there twitching and, and doing this and that, they started out to get a check. They started out going to, to the disability office acting crazy. And you act something long enough, you'll start to think it long that long enough. And guess what? Now... The same results because now you got to take the medication because if it's not in your bloodstream, they'll take you off this, this free money. There's people out there on the corner right now, and I'm telling you, I know this as truth because we're helping those people try to get their lives back in order that got checks from the Social Security office. They don't even know where they're at. Other people that took their check and tried to cash them because they have no sense in their mind where they are because their mind has been destroyed by what they thought. And if you think you crazy, my friend, let me tell you something right now. You are not far off from being crazy. Woo, but let me tell you this. If you think right now that you are the blessed, that you are the healed, that you are the redeemed, that you are whatever God has, watch this, that you are the purposed in God, you have nothing else to do but be exactly what you have fixed your mind on. 
Now, I'm going to give you something today. I, I want you to take this with you this weekend, and I want you to see this. Now, if you want some more of this, because this is just a little, little prelim, we're closing out our revival at Greater New Beginnings. If you're in the Los Angeles, Compton area, uh, Greater New Beginnings in Compton, we're closing out the revival tonight, and I'm actually speaking. Come on through, and I'm going to take this to another level. But watch this. If you're really ready, oh, glory. See, some of us don't know if we're really ready because when you say yes to God, hallelujah, you can't say no no more because you got to keep going. Because if you keep going back, you are now discrediting God. But if you are really ready to put your mind on the things that are going to make you what God has called you to do, turn your Bibles this morning to, to Matthew chapter 5. Oh, glory be to God. I've shared this with you before. The word shall and will in the Bible and I'm only using it from that because this is the truth. The word, the will and shall in the Bible is a promise from God. No ifs, ands, no buts about it. No ifs, ands, and buts about it. Now here in chapter 5 of Matthew, we, we're seeing the, these are the beauties. You, you know, the, 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 the beauties that Jesus is telling us about. But I want to show you something. Let's not even look at the blessed. Because he did say there, and seeing the multitudes, let's go ahead and read this. I want to show you this. And seeing the multitudes, he went up on a mountain. And when he was seated, his disciple came to him. Then he opened his mouth and taught them, saying. Now, first of all, you got to know this had to be a pretty dynamic experience because he was where? He was on a mountain. And the most of the things that Christ did on a mountain was pray. So he already had to be in prayer. And if you read a little the, the, uh, chapter four before that, he was just in that, but he was now in prayer and he had just come out of prayer and he sees the multitude at the bottom. Now watch this. But the disciples come to him and when, they, and when he was seated, his disciple came to him. Then he opened his mouth and he said, now watch this. He says, blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Now watch this. Watch this. You remember I shared this before too. That word is, is already done. The, in, in the prayer that he gave us, he says, kingdom come, will be done on earth as it, what, is in heaven. That word is, is a word of completion. That word tells me that I have already reached whoo, the capacity that God has for me. And what I need to do for me Because remember I told you Yeah this word is for me But that word is for you And you must take it personal And understand that Watch this That I am part of The they shall Come on you Are you ready for yours Are you ready to be part of The they shall Now watch what the Bible says now we said the blessed are in there And I want you to read the whole thing But we're just talking today and we, We're only we're going to keep our time to 30 minutes as we always do But I want you to see this In the second part of each verse It says for theirs is the kingdom of heaven For they shall be comforted For they shall inherit the earth For they shall be filled For they shall obtain mercy For they shall see God For they shall be called sons of God For theirs is the kingdom of heaven Heaven, are you, oh, glory be to God, hallelujah, are you ready to be part of the they shall? Oh, yes, 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 we know you came from being poor in spirit. Yes, we know you 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 you, you mourned. Yes, we know that you meek. Yes, we know that, 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 that you've hungered before. Yes, we know that, 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 that you're merciful. And yes, we know you're pure in heart. Yes, we know you're a peace marker. Yes, we know you've been persecuted. But aren't you ready to get away from the stuff that you used to be? See, there's a differential in each one of these scriptures that can take you to another level. And most of us have been staying on the same plane. And we got to start elevating to a vertical leap, a vertical plane with God that is no more readiness on the earth, but I'm ready in heaven. When? As it is in heaven. Now, if you want what God has for you, hallelujah, you got to say this to yourself today. I will be comforted. I will inherit the earth. I will be filled. I will obtain mercy. I will see God. I oh glory. I will be called sons of God. I am. Oh, wait, wait. And, and wait, wait, no. I and theirs is because at the end there, it, we can't leave that alone. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Just the Lord just brought me into this right here. See, when you get you into the day, then it becomes them. And that's when we can come together on one accord. Watch this. 
in the kingdom of heaven. See, God is intending it for all of us to be on the same plane. And it's so clear right there. Yes, you must be a part of the they shall. But then you must be part of the they, the part of the me shall, so I can be part of the real they shall. What do he say? I'm coming back for one church. One church without what? Spot or blemish. Without any mourning. Watch this. Without any meekness. Without any hunger. Without any mercy. Without any, uh, 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 without any pure hearts. It's going to be nothing but pure hearts. With, with all being peace, I mean, this is the word of God saying, go to another level. And don't stay where you used to be. Go to where I want you to be. I want you to be blessed. I want you to be blessed in the city. I want you to be blessed in the field. I want you to be coming. I want you to be blessed going. I want you to be blessed, 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 blessed. But let me tell you all something right now. If you don't think you're blessed, you never will be. I could call you all day and tell you, you're blessed, you're blessed, you're blessed, you're blessed, you're blessed. Yeah, guess what? You're going to just say, he said, I was blessed. But when you tell yourself you're blessed, you're convincing yourself. When you preach to yourself, you're preaching the best message you'll ever preach. When you pray to yourself, you're getting the prayers of the righteous man because you know your prayers are righteous because you rely on God. Your prayers are not your prayers. Your prayers are, whoa, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory. What? Forever. And this is where you can be right now. You can be in the forever. Good morning, Mother Kathy. How you doing? Love, love you. You can be, good morning, Janetta. God bless you, woman of God. You can be in the blessed right now. All you have to do is change your mind. Stop letting those thoughts. No, no, you ain't even got to worry about the people. You ain't got to worry about the opposition. You ain't got to worry about nothing else but the thoughts in your own mind. Do you know I learned this a long time ago? When I see that the battle is inside me, you're always looking for the fight on the outside. Remember, the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood. It's not against the flesh. It's against spirit. It's the spirits that live in me. It's the spirits that live in you. It's the spirits that keep talking to you in the back of your head, telling you you're no good, telling you you're not, you're not worthy enough, telling you you don't do this, telling you don't do that. But when God says you're blessed, you're blessed in the city, in the see, Oh, hallelujah. Don't matter where, what plane you're on, when you make up your mind, Oh no, I can't do it for you and you cannot do it for me. But when you make up your mind that God is good and he's good to me, guess what? Everything else is already taken care of because we can go right back to Matthew 6 and 33 when he says, seek ye first what he said about you. Seek ye first that he knew you before the foundation of the world. Seek ye first that he called you according to his purpose. Seek ye first that, 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 that you have woo, a design in God because he personally created in you a clean heart and a right spirit. All you got to do is say it. All you got to do is believe it. All you got to do is receive it and then you can achieve it. And that's something that God has made available to each and every one of us. And I am sick and tired of being sick and tired. I hear other people say, you got to come to me to get it. I, I don't want to be a part of those, those cliques and those things that are holding people down to stay in one position. I want to be a part of the number. The number of each and every one of us that says, I'm part. I do my part. I want to be part of the number. I'm going to do what I have to do because I will do better now. Done. Simple. Over. It's over. No more question about it. I will do better now. And my decisions are on God. And my choices are let go because decisions is in the world. It's like a five fingers. You'll make a, I mean, choices are like, like, like the world. You make a choice, another choice, another choice, and they all end up in the one bad decision. But when you make a decision first, you make a decision on God because you now rely on other believers. You, all, you rely on the word of God. You rely on your mind being blessed because I wake up in my mind. I get up in my spirit and I move. 
Woo, hallelujah. I'm moving my purpose, my purpose to glorify, to magnify, and to lift up God in everything I do. What about you? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because it's so available. Are you ready to see a difference in you? I stopped looking for other people to come up and say, well, you're, I see this, you're ready to go here, you're ready to go there. God is the confirmation in you. By you having a personal relationship with him, he elevates you. I can't elevate you. Yes, I can work with you. And yes, we can work together. And yes, yes, yes. But I have no power, no saving power. It's only by Jesus Christ that I can share with you. You can have the same thing too. When you wake up in your mind, when you get up in your thinking, and you move in your purpose. That's what you got to do. And you can do it right now. Amen. God bless you, family. We thank you for, for joining us today for Wake Up, Get Up, Move in Your Purpose. We want to pray today before we leave, as we always do, but we want to be intentional. Remember that, 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 that you know, when, 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 when someone is sick, when someone is in need, when someone has done what they shouldn't have done, it says, go to the, the believers and confess your sins and, and, and petition your prayers and pray for one another. We're going to pray this morning uh, uh, together for Wanda Gibson. She's she's going in to get the results. <laughs> Woo, glory. Not to get the, the, the pride, not but to get the results that come from the Lord. And, and, and she's going to be redeemed today by all of those thoughts. See, those thoughts still, even when you know you're healed, those thoughts still come in until you're sick. The, the, the pains in your leg, even though you're in the inside, you say, I'm, 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 I'm healed by his stripes. Your body still tell you sick, but when, it, when, when God confirms it on the outside, it's by what you've done on the inside. And I'm in belief with her today. By God working in her, he is now working through her. Everybody she didn't touch that got healed in that hospital. Every doctor that had examined her that got healed. Everybody that has been connected with her has been saved by the testimony of God. Well, Jesus Christ. Amen. We also want, want, want to uh, uh, pray for Kim and her daughter. Uh, uh, all the situations that are going on. We want to pray for uh, a prom to remember this weekend. We want to pray for uh, for uh, 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 all the everybody of that team. I don't want to put any particular numbers on it because I don't know who's all working in it. But I want to pray for that team because, you know, you, you go to an event. And you say, oh, man, that was so nice. But you don't know what it took to put it together. We just want to pray for, for strength and for encouragement and, 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 for, and for God just to embrace them and, and, and just to lift their spirits up to know that they have done a good and faithful job. Amen. And we want to pray for you that anything that, that is the enemy is working against you, that now you have the, you have the tool. You have the tool to work against it and to resist it and not just to fall pray to it any longer, but to fight the good fight of faith and to press toward the, the mark of the high calling, but to resist and everything will flee. Amen. God bless you, family. Last announcement. If you are in the Los Angeles area, I want to personally invite you to come out tonight to Greater New Beginnings uh, Missionary Baptist Church on the corner of Gibson and McMillan. The address is 12719 Gibson Avenue, Compton, California, 90221. Again, 12719 Gibson Avenue, Compton, California, 90221. We are closing out our revival, Can These Bones Live? And I am actually speaking tonight and closing out this revival. I'm excited to, for the word that God has, has given me to, to share. And, and, and I am excited to receive what God is about to do tonight. I want you to be a part of that. Come out and be, be with us. It's not a long service. We start at 7. Last night we were out by 8.15. Uh, and, and, and I'm really a timely person. We'll be out of there by 8.30. I give you my word. We'll have a couple of refreshments afterwards if you want to stick around. But the base service will be over by 8.30. And we'll be on our way unless the Holy Spirit says different. Come out and join us tonight. Amen. But I want everybody right now to get out of yourself. I, 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 I want to petition everyone on this call, even when you listen to it later, couldn't listen to it live, even when you listen to it later, to get out of yourself and say, I want to pray for somebody else. I don't want to even worry about my own stuff, and we all have it. I don't want to worry about my own circumstances. I, 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 I have, we all have that too. I don't want to work. Just take a moment to get out of yourself and pray in agreement for someone else. I may not pray that person's prayer in this prayer, but you pray that prayer while we're praying. And let's petition this thing nationally, okay? Through all of our cities, through all of our schools, through all of our uh, uh, governments, through all of every entity we have around us that we're praying in agreement. But in this moment of prayer, I'm just asking everyone, don't pray for yourself. 
Pray for somebody else. It may be your neighbor. It may be someone you met yesterday. But taking this time with me right now to pray for someone else. Amen. Heavenly Father God, in the mighty name of your son Jesus. Lord, we first of all say thank you. Thank you that we can pray together, Lord. Thank you that we can meet together uh, uh, and through these means of uh, uh, video, through Periscope, and through Facebook. Lord, we thank you today, Lord, that we can be on one accord, no matter what geographics we're in, what, no matter what city we're in, no matter what block we're in, no matter where we're at. But right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, we say yes together, we're in the same place. We say amen together, we're in the same place. And we say, Lord, have your way. Take away all of our own desires, our own needs, and Lord, we lift up the petitions of our brothers and our sisters. We particularly pray in the in the in the matter. Wanda, right now in the in, in her process, going to get the report of the Lord that that she'll be so excited to share the, the the report that God is about to share in her life. But we pray for no weapon formed against her travel. We pray for no weapon formed against any of the technical uh, 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 reportings, the, the, the testings, the, or the people giving the report. We pray against anything that will not be pleasing to you. Lord, we pray right now that your will be done in and through her life. Lord, we pray right now for Kim. We pray right now for, uh, for, for Tima. We pray right now for, for, for her new child. We pray for Kim and her whole continued situation. God has already moved. It's done. That's all we're going to say on that. We're going to pray for everybody else in, in your situation that God moves on your behalf right now by you believing that it's not your will to be done, but God's will be done. We pray right now that, that as, as we worship our Father who art in heaven, we worship him together. We pray right now that no weapon formed against you in your going or your coming will prosper against you. We pray right now that any sickness, any disease that is trying to creep in and get in or that may be hiding behind the closet or under the... We bind that thing on earth right now that it may be bound in heaven and we loose the spirit of freedom. We re release the spirit of truth right now from heaven to earth that, Lord, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, we pray right now for the revival tonight in the closing, Lord, that you will just bring those that need to be there, Lord, that you will re receive us, Lord, and that you will minister to our spirits tonight in worship and in word and in fellowship, Lord. So we thank you tonight. We thank you for this broadcast. Wake up, get up, move in your purpose, Lord, that as we go forward in your plan, in your purpose, Lord, that your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, we thank you today, Lord, that you're God all by yourself. Lord, we thank you today that we are not the same as we came. We are changed. We are rearranged and we are transformed by the renewing of our minds. And in Christ's name, we pray right now and all in agreement said, Amen. Amen. Well, God bless you, family. Thank you again for continually being a part of this broadcast and sharing it and, and being a part of what God is doing in this unification of, of like-minded believers. I, I'm just I'm just thanking God today for you and for everything he is about to do uh, in your new. What's new? Something never, ever done before. Thank you, God. God bless you, family. Wake up, get up, and move in your purpose. When? Now.